So let's log in and we'll pick the simplest one. You can, this is a touch screen or you can use this, this knob. So I'm gonna use the knob to do nothing. Okay, let's do assembly because assembly is the second, the simplest one. And you notice it says used for assemblies. Woohoo, log in. This will cause a scene recall, yes. And you notice, I hope, that these all went blank. So they're not being used. So this is the simplest one. The whole idea here is we got the podium mic. We've got wireless number seven. And the reason why it's number seven, that would be the microphone, the wireless microphone plugged into number seven here on stage. All of those will be down on the stage. You'll, that'll make more sense once we get there. If we need the laptops, we've got access to it here. And then you'll see this a lot, wireless, wired wireless overhead effects level. Here's your talk back mic. So if you need to talk back, you can adjust the adjust it here. The one monitor and L and R, the main left and right. So if you log in and you plug the, mo the monitor, the podium mic, and, or if you've got a wireless mic, the one that's plugged into number seven, then you're good to go. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy. So you can bring the volume up here, uh, bring the mains levels up here. Oh, we need some on stage. So very simple and easy. Now, you still have access. If I go to bank B, there's your controls for all the wireless mics. Now, the cool thing about it, if I go back to A, notice the sliders here, the faders. They change to indicate what the settings are. So C is all the wired mics. There's podium, wired to, and then this is effects. That's uh, B. So on bank two, there's A, B finishing out the wireless, and then that's stage, um, and then booth one through eight inputs. So booth meaning if we plug anything up into here, this is how you can access it. So you actually do have access to the full thing. It's just kind of hidden. And there's an effects return and then the overhead mic. So if you needed to use that overhead mic, you could. But right now everything is set down low. And I'm going to pull these back down. Okay, so that's basically what would happen is you would, you know, select you would select your account that you want to um, access. Make sure you're plugged in to, into the right places over there. So for assembly, we'd use number one and number seven for wired and wireless. And if we had a monitor, um, you could use it or not. Critical point here, absolutely critical point. I got processing here. To turn this thing down, you have to hit the power down button on the screen. If you don't, if you just reach back here and hit the power button or however we have it wired, uh, dire things will happen as in, this is a computer so you really could crash it. Um, so please, 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 always and forever hit power down to actually power it down. But before we do that, let's take a look. If I hit the podium, select, and I'm telling, to the, I'm telling the computer basically, okay, I want to mess with the podium. And all of a sudden, we've got all these settings here. So preamp is like that knob that's at the top of the mixer. It basically is a rough volume adjustment. It's a good way to, to phrase it. HPF is a high-pass filter. If we've got a low-frequency low rumble, a lot of times you can uh, get rid of it this way, and this will help with feedback. And you've got an in and an out here. Now, what's kind of cool, I'm going to turn this knob here over on the screen. You see right here, as I'm turning the knob, it's, also, it's changing the screen. Now, I can change it here as well or, he, or over here. you got options. It's changing the same thing. Gate, generally, we're not going to be using. So if you want to know what a gate is, uh, I'll, I'll explain it later. So parametric 
parametric EQ. Um, you can think of this as the high and low controls on your stereo, just a lot fancier because you can not only select, okay, make it louder, make it softer, low frequency, low mid, high mid, high frequency. You can, and you can also specify what exact frequency you want to change and by pushing down how wide you want that to be, the effect to be. So if I hit the select button here, again, telling the machine, hey, I'm going to be working with this, it changes the touch screen. And if I change the low mid gain, there's I'm making it a lot louder, changing the frequency, making it higher and lower. And the width, also called the Q, now it's changing a very, very small range of frequencies versus a very wide range of frequencies. So let's zero that out. Compressor is something we'll be using on a lot of vocal stuff. Um, and then gain reduction, that's what GR is. Um, you probably won't be messing with that too much once we get everything dialed in, but it's good to know that it's in there. That actually helps your uh, audio sound much more professional. So uh, there's a good, good quick overview. So to, to remind you, you, you would call up a particular account and then you can see here what channels we're expecting to use, but by pressing the different banks, you can access different things. Um, and then if you want to make changes, hit the select button and then you can make changes for your preamp, your gate, your whatnot, and that kind of stuff. So enough for that one. Part three coming up. Yeah.